So tell me a little bit more about you and how you got to City Church. I came to City Church uh, two years ago, um, about October 2014. A good friend of mine, uh, Janae Green, um, she had been begging me to come. I had just moved back to New Orleans from Memphis, and she's just like, you know, please come to church, come to church, come to church. And I had been looking for um, a church home anyway, and I just said, okay, sure. So I came one Wednesday night um, to the 7 p.m. service, and it was just awesome. Um, I was just blown away by the message. I really felt the presence of God and the Holy Spirit, and I said, okay, Lord, well, I want to give this church one more shot. Um, what's the, one of the most impactful things you can say has happened um, since you've been here? I was sitting in church one day, and Pastor Owen gave a sermon. I don't remember the title, but it was something about God wants you to have steak instead of cheeseburgers. And I was like, huh? I didn't really understand the meaning, but I knew the analogy that he was going with it. You know, we're so used to just having a cheeseburger, which is average, which is just the mundane. It's just the ordinary. When God wants to take us higher, spiritually, you know, mentally and financially, and just fully trust in God, and God wants you to have you know, abundance, and that's the analogy that he used with the steak. And I said, okay, I get it now, Lord. I'm just gonna trust you fully. Things were still going well. You know, my prayer life was going amazing spiritually. Um, you know, I, I still felt blessed and anointed, but things just didn't quite line up. Things just didn't quite add up. And I kept saying, well, Lord, what's missing? And finally, you know, the Holy Spirit just put it on my heart that I need you to trust me fully. If you're gonna trust me with your life and your son and the decisions that you make in raising him, I need you to trust me in my finances. And I just say, okay, God, you know, I'm going to trust you. I started tithing faithfully. And I mean, shackles and chains have just been broken off my life. You know, my prayer life has gotten stronger. Um, just blessings, not financial blessings, but just spiritual blessings. Um, things that I pray for have come into life. You know, my son got into an amazing school that I have been praying that he get into. Um, and one of the most amazing things that have happened thus far in tithing is the Lord blessing me with my house. I just, I started tithing faithfully, just trusting God with it financially. The Holy Spirit put it on my heart, you know, Ashley, I choose you. I want you to apply for a mortgage. And I was like, what? You want me to apply for a mortgage? You know, I'm a single parent. I have a kindergartner. I just prayed on it and I just, I gave it to God and I just, God just told me to be still. And it was one morning my realtor called me and she said, Ashley, she said, there's this home that I really want you to see. She opened the door and my son instantly ran into the first bedroom and he was like, mommy, mommy, this is gonna be my room. Mommy, mommy, this is our house. And that was my confirmation from God. I knew by my son speaking it into existence that this house was mine. The Lord said, you know, I give you my all, why can't you give me your all? Why can't you trust me financially? And finally, when I let go, I, it feels like a fairy tale. I'm living in my beautiful home, me and my son, and I just owe glory to God. He's just been so amazing. Many people will need to hear this, you know, because it's, it's, it's easy to just say what you want to do, and then when God begins to speak to you about things, as a single mom, and you're being challenged to pay bills or pay tithe, that's huge. And sitting here, seeing the fruit of a decision to give God everything in your first, um, it's amazing, you know, and so uh, you're a blessing. We're glad you're here, glad God brought you to City Church, and um, we just, we, we love you and we thank you.